Hey guys, today we have an interesting video where we would be looking into various settings and options that can be disabled Windows 10 post installation. These settings not only violate your privacy but are turned on by default. Windows 10 also comes with a ton of bloatware. I'll put a link to Microsoft's privacy statement page in the description below. Do check that out. While installing Windows 10, if you did choose express settings, then the bad news is all these settings are enabled by default. Settings like Windows using your bandwidth to share updates with other Windows 10 users or serving you advertisement based on your search patterns sounds bad, right? Let's look at all the settings that needs to be disabled or turned off and also the bloatware and how to remove them. So let's get started. The first application which I am going to talk about is Anti-Spy for Windows 10 by Shampoo. This is a software which basically um, shows all the settings at a single place. If you if you try to disable these settings in Windows 10, you would have to go to different settings to change them. But with uh, Anti-Spy for Windows 10, it's all consolidated into a single application. So it's much easier to uh, change the settings here so let's run the application by the way to download this application the disk uh, you can find the link in the description below okay so my installation is completed so as you can see all these are turned on so we need to turn off one by one so first is let app use advertising id no smart screen filter to check web content no this would basically send all the urls to microsoft let website provides locally relevant content by no send microsoft information about how i write to help us improve typing and writing in the future no wi-fi sense no Enable notifications, no. Driver update, I think I'll keep this on. Biometrics, no. Location of this device, no. Global location features are enabled, no. Need to turn that off. Let app use my camera, no. App connector is allowed to use your camera. Uh, maybe this feature can be on because some app may be using but let's turn it off anyways Microsoft has no OneNote no if you're not using OneNote you can turn that off microphone no Microsoft Edge is allowed no Windows voice recorder is allowed to use the microphone if you're using a voice recorder you can keep this on Xbox apps not allowed no speeching and typing on Windows Cortana, no. So Cortana case basically is a virtual assistant in Windows 10. So if you're not going to use it, you can very well switch it off because it gathers a lot of information. Application telemetry, no. Inventory service, no. Do we give apps permission to access name, picture, and no. App connector is allowed to access the contact, no mail and calendar app if you're using the calendar and the mail app maybe you can keep this on if you're not you can just switch it off do apps have permission no app connector can no main and calendar app can access my calendar so we'll switch this off too let app use radio bluetooth to send receive data no if on a desktop it doesn't matter maybe if you have a laptop you can turn that on we'll switch off this to even this lock screen camera no handwriting data sharing no onedrive if you use onedrive you can turn it on if you're not using onedrive you can just switch it off it's basically a cloud 
storage device I use so I will just keep it on sensors I'll turn it off steps recorded for error reporting no I'll switch it off Windows customer experience no Windows update sharing absolutely no do not track on Windows it will be off too so these are all the settings which got enabled by default in Windows 10 and now we have turned them off so that's good it's uh, surprising that Microsoft has enabled all these features by default the next application which we are going to see is CC Cleaner which is another amazing application which I have been using in Windows for a long time so you can find that download link to the software in the description below it's a small 6.5 MB tool which not only helps in removing a lot of bloatware but it also cleans up a lot of uh, junk files and registry entries so let us install this uh, application so click on advanced we'll install it for all the users this is the location where we'll be installing it and we'll be creating a shortcut if you already have Google Chrome installed you cannot you can skip it otherwise if you would like to use it you can install it with CC cleaner it's basically an advertisement by the way it's an excellent browser so we are almost done with the setup we'll uncheck that and we'll run the application as I was saying uh, CC cleaner does not only cleans the bloatware but it also helps you clean all this uh, history files from different web browsers and a uh, lot of other uh, it can even clean uh, your recycle bin it also has a registry cleaner built in which uh, cleans all the registry and then there is the uninstall tool which is under the tool tools menu so here you will find all the bloatwares which have been recently introduced in windows 10 i don't use any of this application these are universal windows applications so i absolutely don't use them so 3d builder is basically a 3d application i don't use them so i'll just proceed and remove that alarm and clock i don't use that either so you can remove that too click on that and just click on uninstall it will remove that so click OK. App connector, I might keep it. Calculator also I use it. Camera app I don't use. It has to go. Click OK. Get office is basically an advertisement by Microsoft. It tries to download the office package for you, the trial version. So no. I will just proceed and remove that. It's another advertisement to download Skype. So I'll get rid of that too. Uninstall and click OK. The next is getting started application which basically introduces you to Windows 10. It's unnecessary. I'll uninstall that too. Groove Music is another uh, music app which can let you play your MP3s. So I don't use Groove Music, so I'll uninstall that too. Sometimes uh, it doesn't uninstall on the first go. You need to double click on twice to uninstall that. So removed. I'll also remove the Mail and Calendar app. I don't use that either. But if you are using, you can keep it. It is a very good application maps i don't use bing maps i'll get rid of that messaging and skype no i'll remove that i'll uninstall that too microsoft solitaire collection no i don't play that so i'll remove that too 
the money app so basically gives you a st stock updates so I don't use that I don't use the movies and uh, TV app to watch my watch videos I basically use VLC news I don't I just directly browse it on my browser I don't need an application for that OneNote, this is the uh, Windows Universal app version. I don't use that. I do use the desktop version. So I don't need that. People's application, I don't need. I'll remove that too. Even the phone application. Phone. This should be helpful if you have a Windows phone with you. So if you're not a Windows phone user, you don't have to bother. You can just go ahead and remove this. I don't rem use the Photos app also even sports I don't use that you can keep the Windows Store app if there, there are few good applications in Windows Store so if you like to keep that you can skip this but if you absolutely hate the Windows Store application you can get rid of Windows Store too voice recorder I do use weather application I don't use so I'll be uninstalling that and Xbox, if you own Xbox, this application would be good, but if you don't own, you can just get rid of it. So these were basically the set of applications or bloatwares which Windows comes installed by default. So we got rid of that. And then there is the startup tab. There's already a video which I have done which shows all the applications which load up, loads up in the start and how to disable them so i'll you can you can see it see that video i'll put a link in the description this will basically help you improve the performance of your pc so i think we are done guys so pretty much that's all everything that needs to be removed and uh, if you found this video helpful do give a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to the channel so that you get uh, more such future videos and uh, every time i upload a new video into youtube you would automatically get a notification so it's okay guys thank you have a great day bye bye